Hello, I'm Dr. John McDougall. I'm going to talk to you about uh, a real serious issue today, and that's uh, constipation, which I'd say most people have suffered, and many people suffer daily, and it's quite troublesome. As a matter of fact, there are people who, believe it or not, only have a bowel movement every 3 to 15 days. And that's with a laxative. I think the worst situation I ever met was a, a woman who was a flight attendant who told me that she moved her bowels only every 30 days with the use of a laxative. Well, you know, there's some serious problems going on there. Basic constipation, the problems that people have that gives them all kinds of distress, that problem is caused primarily by a lack of fiber in the diet. There's no fiber in any animal food. That means no fiber in beef, uh, chicken, fish, dairy products. And so lack of fiber makes a small stool that's hard to pass. But there's another issue here that you need to know about when it comes to constipation. And that's the effect of dairy products on the bowels. The dairy protein paralyzes the bowel activity. And people become extremely constipated just because of the dairy protein. So it's not just lack of fiber, it's also this allergic type reaction that paralyzes the bowel. This was brought out in a study that was published in the New England Journal of Medicine a few years back when they looked at severely constipated children. To get into that study, you had to have a bowel movement every 3 to 15 days with the use of a laxative. They took these kids who were on cow's milk and they took them off all the cow's milk and two-thirds of them were completely cured of their constipation within a matter of a couple of days. They waited 8 to 12 months and told the parents to put the kids back on cow's milk. I can't believe a parent would do this, but they did. To comply with the study, they put the kids back on cow's milk, and within 5 to 10 days, all of them were severely constipated. In the examination of these kids, they took a tube and they looked up their bottom and they found severe inflammation related to the dairy products. They found anal fissures, which caused the kids terrible pain when they tried to move their bowels. So this very distressing problem, this terrible problem particularly in children who don't understand all of the, the bleeding and the pain and the distress and the effort that goes on and all the psychological and the worry and all the anxiety that it causes the kids. This simple problem can be avoided with your children by simply feeding them a healthy diet and getting the dairy foods out of their diet. If you already have constipation, you want to solve it, one of those things because it's so intimately connected with the food that you can cure in just a matter of couple of days by making simple dietary changes. There are some extra things you can do afterwards like adding Miller's Bran, trying to add flaxseed, maybe something called Uncle Sam cereal. You can try traditional things like more fruit, more prunes, more water. Those simple techniques can add to the basic dietary change that's going to solve your problem. I'm Dr. John McDougall. Thank you very much for listening.